Alrighty, y'all, welcome to Ellis Mowers. We have a John Deere JS63 that we're looking at here. This is going to be my next push mower project. Um, I think it looks worse than it actually is. Do I have? I do not have a shroud for the engine on this. Um, one thing I've noticed is that it looks like the uh, drive cable is shot or rusted one on it and it looks like the spring action going on here is somebody locked the spring to this and so now it won't come back i don't know how to get it to where it will come back on me um i just need to hit it with a hammer or whatnot somebody had a little bit of wire or something on it and so let me see if I can hit it back into place so maybe it'll get used correctly. No. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 3 8 and I'm gonna take the engine off, engine cover off of it and figure out how to get that going. Um, like I said, it shouldn't be too difficult to get this one going. Um, and we'll figure it out here in just a second. Um, somebody has already had this off, so I'm going to take this 3 8 off, that 3 8 off, and that should get us to where we need to be in order to see what's going on potentially with this whole ordeal with the spring since it won't come back on us. I know that the, I know that the cable's not providing a lot of tension right there, so I don't know exactly what's going on with it. Uh, but let me get a couple three eighths out and see what happens and I'll let y'all see what I find All right, so we're going to replace the dry or the um, Stock cable on this thing get these leaves out of here. I Don't I say I don't know what's wrong with this thing if there is anything wrong with it at all I mean, it could just be that the fact that somebody just decided hey Let's take the engine cover off. Blade's in good shape, which is a good thing. I just need to sharpen it. Oil, haven't even checked. I don't even know if I checked it in the intro video. Oil is... Oil's alright. Um, carburetor does not have a bowl gasket on it, so... That might be a $6 carburetor special. Um, this, this cable's all bound up. So we're going to pop it off really easy. It's just a 7 sixteenths. I've got another one here that will work. I'm going to set y'all down and we're going to get started on this. 7 sixteenths is what we're going to be working with. Looks like I got it in my little toolbox. From what I can tell, the self-propel cable is good, so that's a good thing. It's a 3 8 I'm sorry. Three-eighths. So maybe it's a 10 mil. Nah, I can make this work. Charm. Yeah. I need to get a star bit. Holy moly. All right. Star bit's holding it on this side. Now this one has a little, like a little pop thing on it. It's not a rivet, but like a little cap. So we just gotta get the little cap off here. Hey, listen. 
beetle noses. mower on. Let's see when we have it all the way back what tape we need. Should be plenty of length for us. Let's go down to this bottom hole here. I think that's going to give us enough leverage. That way we got enough adjustment. We got this one in, an adjustment on this one. So if we need to change any of that. We'll go ahead and pop the little cap back on. I don't know if this mower runs yet. We're going to find that out shortly. Just want to go ahead and get this. If it's just the stop cable that's wrong with it, I just want to go ahead and get it done while I'm thinking about it. does have a little bit of rust in it, but it's not enough to really make a difference. It's tight. I also need to angle it up a little bit too, so let me do that. So I don't provide so much tension on the Think about this a little bit. But potentially put it on the outside here, and that might make it a little bit better. If I put it on the outside, that puts this at the top, which would be even with this. expedite the process is I'm just going to turn it. I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to turn it on the top here. And basically just put it put it like this pretty much. That'll make it a little bit better in terms of height wise. I don't know. And let me toy around with it. I do need to lube it up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that because this part of the cable is a little rusty. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to work it back and forth with some lubricant. And 
and I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll catch up with y'all whenever I get the whole cable situated. But that's kind of how you change it out. I'm just going to kind of work on it and make it a little bit easier here. Alrighty, so all I did was buttoned up a few things. I put the engine cover back on, spark plug in it. It's really easy to do that. Engine cover, gas tank. I'm not going to put the gas back in it. You can see that's some watery mess coming out of there. All I'm going to do is throw some starting fluid in here. See if we can get it to at least kick over. And that way we know that we can continue forward with this. Oh yeah, I think we're going to be alright. So, the rest of that gas is just kind of, kind of do its thing and I'm going to replace the fuel line on it obviously because this fuel line is trashed. Um, I'll do that real quick, button this up. I'll go ahead and put the cover on and I want to make sure that it's priming because this is one of the primer bulb carburetors. I want to make sure that it is priming properly. And then we will um, put it all together. Got a little bit of leakage. I have to tighten that bowl nut up a little bit. That's the second one of these Chinese carbs that has had a loose bowl nut when it has come to me. So I will do that. I think I need a 13 though. I'll tighten up that loose bowl nut and then I will put some gas in it and fix that fuel line and we'll see if we got a runner here for us. Alright, so we got it out here. Um, we're going to give it a good little test. I do have it priming. I had to do a little work on my Chinese carburetors, which sometimes you have to. But you have to push the air filter down some to prime it. Which is not uncommon with these quantum Briggs. As soon as I do that, it primes like crazy. So uh, Let's see how it runs. Thing does smoke some which is not surprising especially considering I found it in the condition that it was in you know with the whole oil filter deal and all that too um, I guess the next step is I'm gonna hop in and see how the air filter looks and then I will uh, what am I gonna do Oh well, no, hop in and see how the self propel looks, excuse me. So I'll take that little star bit off that's missing one of them over there and see how the self propel looks. It might just be clogged up with 
gunk and stuff. We might just have to lube it and because it works. It's just not working very well. As you see, the, the cable's getting pulled like it should. Looks like this is the correct handle on it. So I'm just going to pull that and see how we got, or see what we got in there. Alrighty, all the more I work on these John Deere's, the more I like them. They build an adjustment into the self-propel, and it makes me so happy. I haven't even tested it yet. I'm already happy. So right here, there's two 5 16 inch bolts. The issue with this one is that the self-propel was a little sluggish to start. It would eventually pick up and kick in. Probably just a little bit of uh, worn cables and whatnot. But you take those 5 16 inch bolts, pull it toward the left side of the mower. You loosen them up a little bit and just slide this assembly to the left side of the mower. And let's see what we've got. Hopefully I got enough gas in it to run it. You don't want it to grab you and like jerk you. So I think that's a good adjustment. It takes maybe one to two seconds for it to kick in and it rolls on with it. You can still move it forward and backwards like you should, like you're supposed to. So yeah. That's how you adjust the self propel on it. So we've got all the issues sorted out now. I don't know the condition of the blade. I might have to. I gotta do the service items like change the oil in it. I oh, don't tell me they put another blade on it side down. No, okay. I just gotta sharpen the blade on the blade. Blade's all right. Blade's acceptable. Just give it a sharpen and we'll be good. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, to take this panel off, it's two like little star bits on the back and then a bolt on the top, two bolts on the top for the star bolts. Um, and then that, that's also where your little guard attaches as well. So make sure you get your guard attached back whenever you put it back on. I think it goes on the inside of these little green tabs here on the inside. So we got the self propel working and I will now um, source an air filter and an air filter cover for it. I'll sharpen the blade. I'll do all this off camera because you'll see me do it a thousand times. Oil. I'll put this cover back on, wash it, clean it up, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Sell this thing. So y'all see it cleaned up here in just a second. Alright, so there's the John Deere JS63. It's all done. Got it nice and washed, sharpened the blade, changed the oil and all that good stuff, put the cover back on, found an additional bolt to put on the cover right there, then put the other bolts back on um, right here and over there. There's a nut on the back, you just have to have a 5 16 inch wrench to hold it down as you tighten this. Um, you can do it with an impact is what I did, uh, just don't get them too tight. Um, engine cover back on, found a... Um, air filter cover since this one's ready I robbed it off another mower I haven't fixed yet and uh, I think we're ready to go new fuel line also and so I think this one's good again I think it's smoking a little bit I'm gonna let it run for maybe about 15 minutes and see uh, we got the self propel fixed on it as well to where it's um, engaging a lot better than it was by doing that adjustment and this mower should sell quickly. I don't know. Depending on how bad it smokes is depending on the price that I'm going to set it at. I would love to get $150 for the mower. Um, I would might want to list it for $160, but let's see how bad it smokes. I put some um, 
put some gas in it, so let's see what we got. And it's not smoking anymore so it just needed to get some stuff out of the muffler which is awesome so this one's done I think it's gonna get listed for $160 and we'll let it run for about 15 minutes just so make sure it passes its test clean up some stuff before it gets too dark and we'll end this video right here hope you all enjoy this JS 63 in the past I've done I don't know two or three of these I think they've been the 35s and JS 25s and things like that. I don't think I've done a 63 before. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I appreciate y'all watching as always. These John Deere videos seem like they get a decent amount of views as well. So um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope y'all learned something about how to adjust the self propel on one of these. Um, and uh, we got the cable fixed here. It's not the prettiest cable, but it does get the job done gets it done pretty well I might lube it up a little bit more before sale um, everything else about it is good though a little bit of rust right here around the where the cover is so these John Deere's will pull good money so even in its current condition I think it's well worth at least 150 I'll probably list it for 160 send it on down the line for somebody else to enjoy um, i appreciate y'all watching as always you can find me at ellis mowers 09 on instagram and facebook and i'll catch y'all in the next video see you then